Hello everybody, welcome back to the shop for another exciting episode of A4 Building Action. I was going to put all this away today and get started on something else. Got that F4 all up in the trailer, baby. It's ready to roll. I got that big old box of foam. I'm trying to pull this into the light a little bit and show you what I'm doing. It's kind of been bothering me. I wanted to get this done. You know, I only got to make the tail feathers and ailerons and flaps and this thing's done. I saw fit the wings this morning. It's looking good. With the wings and the canopy and the hatch, I think it was that seven pounds. Yeah, that many. <laughs> it's coming out freaking awesome. I think the 30 pound turbine is going to be too much. <laughs> <laughs> but okay here's what I got going guys you know me I like to jig everything hope you guys can see this now what I got going so I'm trying to get that tube perfectly square with the airplane okay now I've kind of used the seam on the bottom of the airplane okay and got its position right there I put a corner on this board, marked it and put an edge on there, so all I have to do is take this board to the end of this table this way, okay, and it catches there, pull the fuselage against it, bam, it's square on the table, okay, then I made this jig back here, now all I have to do Let's line up these ends right here. Bam. Square with the table. Okay. They're the same height. So and I know my bottom's flat because I got all that foam in there. That bottom's flat. That's what we're going off of. And uh, I can adjust the wings if I need to. But I'd rather get this square with the world. You know what I mean? <laughs> okay. So, I cut these two boards the same length, screw the board across the back. Now what I want to do is take these boards here and kind of square it up this way. And then we're going to do the spacing. Okay, and when we do the spacing, then I can glue this tube in the airplane itself. Okay, I want to glue... You know that much of that tube in there and the other half of this will go you know in the elevator and then I got a, a carbon rod okay this is just lightweight stuff but look how small that stab is you know it don't you know it don't need that big beefy stuff I got two of these babies going in there it's gonna be strong I guarantee you you know but, and then, I'll get the spacing. Because these two rods got to be exactly, exactly parallel. Okay, and if you got one that's eight inches on this side and eight and, and, eight and a sixteenth on that side, they won't come in and off, on and off. You know, and that's the reason for doing it like this. As for a removable stab, easy, easy, easy. And uh, that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> okay, now, uh, where am I? Okay, oh, no, 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 no. I know. Okay, let's start back here. I don't give you too many back shots there. Okay, now we don't want to cut it exact. I'll do that with my other saw. If we leave it a little long, man, I can get a really good glue joint inside there without it going inside the tube itself. You know what I mean? Then let it set up, trim it off with my saw.
servos guys when I glue these together one of the bulkheads that go in between these two spars I'm going to cut out for a servo so I have to trim out for the servo and then the servo will drop down in there a little bit and then you just cut a slice right here and just the arm of the servo stick out Nice short rod, solid baby. Bob O'Neared in my head, that ain't broke down nowhere. <laughs> okay, let me cut this one. Okay. Cut out a little bit on the big side. I used uh, oh, the next side stepper bit, and it took them a little bit big, but that's okay. I want them like that for my adjustment. Then I'll actually get a better glue joint with a little bit of a gap in there. You know, I'll make me a pastry bag, and I'll shoot in. If that was really tight, I couldn't get no glue there. You know what I mean? But the way it is now, I can make that glue mushroom on the inside and get a really, really solid glue joint. Okay, now, I'm take this. This is a phenolic tube I got, and I kind of like them. Okay. Let's go with this move a while ago. Let's make sure we're still square with the world. Alright. Okay. Right there. Map. This is critical. Most critical part right here. We want this back. So square. It ain't funny. Okay, the back one's what we're going off of. I got some nasty old wood there. I was almost thinking about putting a couple screws through that fuselage, especially on this first one until I get my jigs made. You know, it'd be easy enough to patch. I still might if I end up moving this anymore. Get a spot to get a good measurement on this wood. Looks like about three inches. Three and three and three sixteenths. Three and three sixteenths is a little fat. Three and an eighth, three and three sixteenths. Three and three sixteenths, three and, okay. Okay. That's where, that's our number. Three and three sixteenths on both sides. And I want to use this right there. You know that banding that came on this shelving? So I need to go three and three sixteenths from the end of that banding. For you metric guys, that's about that far. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny right there. 
Oh, I don't care who you are. That was funny. <laughs> Okay, both of them are three and three sixteenths squared up. perfect and I just got them. Bam. Bam. Okay now see I got that nice round plastic edge on there. I need to take it to the back. See I measured up to these corners so never mind that round deal. This way, guys, man. See, I have these holes marked on the plug, okay? I know where to drill the holes. But just to make them, I didn't want to just stick that tube in there and hope for the best, you know? No, they got to be accurate. You know what I mean? If I just would have drilled them to where they just barely squeezed in there, there would have been no room for an adjustment. I wouldn't have been able to glue them very good. It just would have been a bad move. You know? Okay. Now. Now. This is very critical. If you don't do this, you'll split this wood. It's fine. We use part of the wood. <laughs> hey. But if you don't drill it, when it's that thin, it's not going to split. We don't want to wait for that glue to dry, so we'll just put a screw on it. If you don't pre-drill it, it will want to walk too. Also, yeah, it will want to. could be glued in and it's going to be straight it's going to be real close <laughs> anyway okay now to get the back of these tubes I mean the, the width 
This is this is very critical. Very critical. Time to get serious. Must be serious. Serious. small won't work if you metric guys it's about that much It's a little bit tight. Just a frickle. Just, just a half a frickle. We're talking real frog hair action. Okay. I'm going to go touch it on my sander. I'm just going to touch it. Mess it all up real good. <laughs> Just a frickle snug. So now what I gotta do is I gotta take this line off. Okay. So there's a difference what side of the line you cut on. Oh, just a frickle tight. That's how we like it. That's how we like it. Jig is almost complete. Then I'll then what I'll do is I'll glue these tubes in tonight and uh, go to bed. I just want to get these done. Then I'm gonna start on something else tomorrow, guys. I'll make some good bulb TV. Well not start, but I got a lot of stuff I need to do this winter. Hope you guys are ready for a lot of videos. And lay me up a bomber! I got all the stuff. Almost, except some carbon.
Okay, now. Now. And what's going on? You know, I got a, a one of my first uh, jets I bought. I actually got it off of the universe, you know. I got these ones drilled in this plug exactly I didn't oversize them on this one and they are in there tight solid rod. That thing is not bent. So this one's solid, this one's pipe, so that one will bend up. It's this back one I need to oblong out. Not much. But I got a plane one time that, you know, the, these tubes wasn't installed. And man, I had a heck of a time. I had a heck of a time. 
This ought to be good right here though. As long as this is still flat. Yeah. This leaks up a little bit, isn't it? Oh shoot that. Yeah, I might have to come up with eight. Which all I'll have to do is shim, put some shims under my tubes. Yes, sir. Well, I'm going to get this figured out, guys. I think what all of them I'm going to have to do is put me some uh, shims in there. Three's touching, one's hot. This one's got to come down. Just a frickle. And this has got to come back. Just a frickle. I need to put me a couple more hooks up on the front. Alright guys, I'm going to get this figured out, and uh, 
get it all put away break something else out tomorrow and uh, we'll be back don't worry it won't take me long to do what I got to do and then uh, we'll be at back I only got a few parts to make guys and uh, we're gonna take this bad boy's flying field unpainted BAM <laughs> Till then, we'll see you guys back in the shop. Bam.